This is Diego from Notre Admin, and this is a quick video to show you how our meal plans work and how you can create some uh, professional document that is personalized to your client uh, just with a few clicks very fast. So this is the screen for creating meal plans and you can choose one day or seven days. You can um, make a different number of days and you can create the meal plan from scratch or you can just auto-generate it using our uh, algorithm. If you click on here, uh, you get a screen where you can select from typical diets, such as uh, Atkins, ketogenic, um, for vegetarians, uh, paleo, etc. I'm gonna go for for the zone, or let's let's check paleo diet, for example. And then you can change the okay. I want this diet to be uh, this number of uh, kilocalories. I want it to be uh, quite low in carbohydrates and let's say 40% protein, 40% fat. You can even select uh, the allergens you want to avoid by ticking these boxes and then the meal plan won't contain any of those. You can also avoid uh, meat for religious reasons and you can have a couple of extra settings such as okay I want to include lobster in this, uh, you know I'm gonna make it expensive or I'm gonna just make it normal and have uh, chicken instead of uh, some expensive um, poultry or some expensive bird. Uh, I'm gonna just generate the meal plan. And this will take a few seconds and every meal plan is created, uh, here, here we have it. It's created on the, uh, in our database with uh, an algorithm that is gonna take into account all of these um, parameters you set. Uh, you gotta bear in mind this will be approximate but within 1% or so you'll get uh, the meal plan you need. And now you can edit it a little bit and you can add, uh, you can change some of these foods if you want, you can change the quantity. Uh, for example, walnuts uh, is gonna give you uh, a, an appropriate amount of walnuts, which is uh, 20 something grams rather than hundreds. But you could change it if you want. Uh, for something like, um, let's say, uh, lamb chops. So it's gonna give you over a hundred, a little bit over a hundred grams. You can change it a bit for your client and you know oregano is a spice so it'll just give you a tiny amount of it. This screen is, uh, you can just print it as a PDF, give it to your client, it's just breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, or uh, you can also give them the nutritional analysis screen that has protein, fat, carbohydrates and energy, though uh, you can configure it to show micronutrient information as well, plus the totals. And uh, additionally, there's recipes. You can actually include a recipe in this meal plan. So let's say, uh, I'm gonna click plus in here. Oh, and by the way, to add foods, any kind of non-processed food, anything that uh, doesn't come in a plastic, is basically in these quick categories. So if you want to add a fruit, you just click fruit, um, citrus, orange. That's it, very quick, orange fresh, uh, then I'm gonna add, uh, I'm just adding some random foods, potatoes, uh, potato fresh, meat, um, beef, uh, ribeye beef steak, uh, it's, this is a strong breakfast, vegetables, mushrooms, you see, you got the idea, it's very quick to add, you don't have to type and search uh, for all of these common foods and take forever doing it. So, well, if you don't find uh, the food you want in these categories, you can click on search food, and this uses the USDA database that has thousands and thousands of foods. I believe it's over 10,000. You can say apple raw search. This takes a bit longer, but you get also a uh, big control over what exactly you wanna, you know, it's gonna differentiate between a Fuji apple, Gala apple, a Granny Smith apple. I'm gonna go with Granny Smith. And I can close here and here we have it, Granny Smith. And then uh, there is meal presets, which is, you can save, let's say I like this breakfast very much, I can save it and call it um, big breakfast, um, which would be appropriate in this case. And I can then reuse it uh, by clicking this use meal preset. And then there is search recipes. And basically you can attach a recipe in here, though this uh, feature is only available in, um, it's not available in our basic plans. That's why there is this warning here. But well, let's say I'm gonna search for an omelette, um, white egg whites, for example, and I'm gonna add to the meal plan. It's gonna take a few seconds to calculate it, and this will add all the ingredients to the omelette in here, and it'll show you here in recipes, 
egg white, close this. And you see, uh, it includes the picture, the ingredients, and the instructions. And you're gonna be able to print this for your client uh, when we download it as a PDF in a second here. So uh, you know, all the information that your client needs. So uh, here's the thing, you're giving them uh, the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack recommendations. That's quite easy to generate. Uh, you're giving them the nutritional analysis so that you, they see um, what are the total nutrition that they are eating. Uh, though this is optional. If you don't want to include it for your client, you can, I'll show in a sec. And you're giving them the recipes to prepare uh, these foods. So not only you're saying, hey, you should eat an egg white omelette, you're giving them uh, the ingredients and the instructions so that if your client is not familiar with this uh, particular recipe, uh, it's going to be very easy for them to follow these uh, simple steps and prepare it. Once you're done, you can tick these boxes, say I want to include everything and download PDF. And that's it, it's going to generate the document that includes all the information you saw and now you can send this document to your client. It's very simple. Uh, finally, uh, whenever you create different meal plans for your clients, they're all going to be stored uh, in here. I just have two in here, but as uh, you use more admin, you can end up with hundreds of documents over time, over months, and uh, they're all going to be organized in this uh, tidy system. And you can search, okay, Diego, and here are the different meal plans you prepare for this client. So if there is some follow-up consultation, you can easily retrieve the history for this person and uh, you can give them a more uh, personalized uh, assistance. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.